partners outdoor and today I'm out here fishing as usual but uh, today I want to try out a new lure that I got about a week ago and uh, it's this tiny little dual hardcore minnow um, it was I got it on Dick's Sporting Goods it was on sale uh, it said it's usually 15 bucks and it was only six dollars so uh, it's 14 on tackle warehouse so maybe you know usually 14 but uh, it was only six so I decided I might as well try it out and it's the dual hardcore Hardcore X Minnow 90F bass. So whatever that means, but basically it's this uh, little quarter ounce jerk bait, and I don't know the paint job on it just looked really good. So thought I might as well pick it up. Plus it was uh, on sale, so uh, so I couldn't resist. I just gave in and bought it. But uh, I think it's like the company that makes Yozuri, but I think it's the like nicer version. So I don't know. I think it's a little Japanese lure, but uh, it looks pretty good. And today uh, we have about an hour to fish and. Uh, Hopefully we can catch a few on it. There we go. The drag is not set at all. But I got this little dude. It's just a little one. Definitely bigger ones in here, but uh, that was only my like might have been my second cast, but I think it might, uh, it might have been my third. I don't really know. But either way, that was really, really fast. There we go. Tiny little guy, but uh, I'll take him. And it just started raining, like literally right as it made the first cast, it started raining. But whatever, I'll take him. There he goes. Oh! Ah, I had one right there. I don't know why. I might need a, my, oh yeah, no, I tightened the drag a lot. Probably shouldn't have tightened it that much, but okay. Well, that was a fish. He got off. He just swiped at it a little bit. Oh, come on. One hit it. One hit it. I'm back, buddy. Oh, well, I got a bite on that cast. I think they're just barely swiping at it because these treble hooks look really good. But we'll, we'll make that same cast. Maybe we'll get him this time. There we go. Got one. This one's definitely a little better. Oh, ah, he's not that big, I don't think. He's bigger though. Well, it's pretty small still. <laughs> Another small one. A little bit of an improvement, but. I'll take him. All right, guys, second fish, just another small one. Let's go ahead and let that guy go. There he goes. Oh, come on, bud. One just hit it a bunch. Oh, I got him. He hit it again when I left it sitting still. Wow. <laughs> so, I'm just using this tiny little dirt for that you know, it goes real shallow and it's just catching the tiny ones. All right, guys, let's release this tiny little fish. There he goes. Oh, that, that was cool. Oh my gosh. I felt a bump. All right, so I just tried swimming this in instead of using it as a jerk bait. I felt a bump, I stopped the lure, and I saw the bass chase it and just come up and eat it. And this is the biggest one of the day. Still not that big, but eh, he's might be pushing a pound. All right guys, here goes releasing this fourth little fish. A little bit bigger than the other three, but still not the biggest. Still fairly small, but there he goes. Oh, come on bud, come back, come back. came back. They usually come back. Now oh, they're a little one. Yeah, this tiny jerk bait, I mean, I mean, I think the larger ones are just little sitting near the bottom, but uh, yeah, that's okay. I want to try this new jerk bait and uh, we might just catch all the small ones in this pond. I mean, we'll try some nice ones in this pond. Yeah, there's some two and a half pounders in here. That's about the biggest, but for a pond this size, I mean, the two and a half is pretty darn good. This right here is about 
maybe half a pound. But anyway, I'll take him. Oh, that one. This seems a lot better. It's a really small rod, but <clears throat> it's probably the best one of the day right here. Can't see him yet. Best fighter of the day, anyway. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I don't know if he sideswiped it or I just hooked him, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. So, fish always feel bigger when they're uh, hooked on the side. So, yeah, it's not the biggest one of the day. So, he's better than a few of the ones we've got. All right, there we go, the sixth fish of the day. Definitely not bad. They've all been pretty small, but I'll still take it. There he goes. <clears throat> Got one. Switch to the Kitek because I already caught enough fish on that little jerk bait, so thought I might get some bigger fish with this thing, but Ah, just another small one. Oh well. It does go a little deeper though. Just let it sink a little more. Unlike that jerk bait. Yeah, this is like, this is like one of the smallest ones, but whatever. Another fish. Anyway, there he goes. Alright guys, we caught seven fish today. Definitely wasn't a bad day. They're all pretty small. But uh, overall, this jerk bait definitely worked really well. So uh, I think it was definitely a good buy at just six bucks. I mean, Six bucks isn't super cheap, but uh, for this lure that's usually uh, 14, you know, definitely not a bad deal. And uh, obviously, obviously today it performed really well. And I'll show you what I caught that last fish on. It's just a little uh, Kitek of this is a four-inch swing impact uh, swim bait in the uh, the sight flash color. Um, I just cut it down a little bit. I already had, I just already had it tied up, but uh, so yeah, it's probably about three inches because I cut it, but. Uh, it's just on that tiny little uh, 3 16 ounce ball jig head, so Kitex are always great lures. And anyway, that jerk bait was definitely not a bad buy, and uh, catch you guys in the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching.